I'm Dan Schultz, and I want to tell you about an application called Dr. Photo, which allows the user to drag and drop graphical images onto photos that are taken with their device. Um, right now, it, it, you can add simple things like a mustache or a sombrero, but the app's written so that more items can just easily be added. In fact, that's one of the reasons why I'm making this into a Kickstarter project. Um, I have some ideas for other images that could be added, but I really wanted to kind of use the Kickstarter community to get more ideas, way beyond anything I could think of. So, like, all backers get application credits, but there's a designer level of backing uh, that allows you to specify a graphical image that can get be overlaid in within the application on the photo, and the users can kind of drag it around and use it with the application, um, just like with the mustache in the example we're going to show. Um, so anyway, here I am talking about the application. I'll come back and talk about the other levels of backing, but let's, uh, let's take a look at the application in its current state. Okay, so here's our application uh, as it exists right now. And the first thing I wanted to mention is uh, we, we implement the Windows 8 uh, sharing contract. So we're going to be able, when we're done with our picture, we're going to be able to share it uh, via whatever social network or email attachment that we want to. But also, this uh, application uh, is touch-friendly, like all of our buttons. You know, they work via touch as well as mouse and keyboard. But the first thing that happens is uh, the camera is going to launch, and we get the picture just the way we want it. Once we accept it, we come into the application in this current state here. Uh, right now, I just have four things we can add to the image, like uh, I want to add a mustache. And again, we can drag this mustache around exactly where we want it. Same with like a sombrero. Put that right there. Got some dizzy bubbles. Put little dizzy bubbles around my head here. And uh, so now that we have the picture exactly the way we want it, now I would like to share it. And let's see, if we go over here to the sharing charm, you can kind of see any uh, other application we have on, uh, on our machine that supports the sharing target contract, like this Facebook Lite, this Twitter application, or any email always comes up. Um, allows us to share it, like for Facebook Lite. You can kind of see this comes up. It has our image. We can uh, say whatever we want about it and then share it if we want to. I obviously don't feel like doing that right this moment. Um, or again, like for email, say I want to email it to somebody. I just uh, uh, set the recipients. I can add whatever subject I want to. Uh, and uh, fill in whatever uh, message I want and we hit send and it's going to email it with as an attachment and uh, it's uh, six well by the way the uh, default size is 640 by 480 and you can see we just sent it and if we wanted to take a new picture we can just click new pic or whatever um, I'd mentioned about uh, what I was on Kickstarter for you can see we have a lot of room for some other things to add and I, again like I said I have a lot of ideas but I'm hoping uh, the Kickstarter community can give me some ideas and we can you know, have a whole slew of buttons and things we can add and move around and uh, I think it'll be a pretty exciting application. Um, so that's it. So anyway, I mentioned the uh, designer level before, uh, but there's also a producer level where a picture of you or an image of your choice actually becomes part of the application or also an architect level where you can actually specify additional functionality for the application. Uh, there's a few features I'd like to implement and add to the application, uh, or you may come up with some functionality that uh, I may never have even thought of. Yeah, you can't really install Windows 8 applications without getting them from the store easily. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm publishing a private beta to the store, and all you really need is a Windows Live ID to get access to it. So if you're interested in checking it out, uh, ping me with your live ID and I'll give you access, whether or not you want to be a backer. Um, I, I'd love to have as much early feedback as possible. So thanks in advance. I'm real excited to hear what uh, people have to say.